What's going on guys? Patty Kills here bring us a brand new video, man. Today's video got NHL 21 in-depth uh breakdown. Uh, I made my re initial reaction video. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description where I kind of talk about my initial reaction. This one I'm going to be breaking it down in depth, going looking at all the features, credit to GameSpot. Um, you know, let's go right into this video, man. Before we do start this video, guys, the beta will be coming out August 28th. It's, it's a closed beta, so I don't know if you're gonna be allowed to stream it or not. I heard that from your rumors that like if you you might not even be allowed to like even show gameplay of it because it's a closed uh, beta test. But we'll see. It's gonna come out this Friday. Um, don't know the time yet, but let's go run this video. Obviously, we know the cover app is Alex Ovechkin. I know a lot of people were like uh, confused. I think this is a good cover choice, man. Ovechkin is really the pioneer of this game. He's really made excel this game at a European level, in my opinion. Um, just like he's one. He's the thing Ovechkin did for this game is like you ask, like obviously you could have said you know we could have had McKinnon on the game, Leon Draisaitl, but these guys they're new to the league. They've only been in the league for. A couple seasons four or five seasons ovechkin has been here for a very long time you ask a guy that's a casual hockey fan somebody that doesn't really watch hockey that much or someone that doesn't watch hockey at all they're gonna know who this guy is this is a smart move by ea marketing wise i say it's a good cover choice i think the cover could have been better honestly but you know it's whatever man it's, it, it could have been better but be a pro update we all obviously know that's gonna be a new be a pro mode i've heard that the be a pro mode has been completely revamped it's kind of like a story mode where you basically make your decisions um a lot of the game changers have said that they've enjoyed playing this game mode and a lot of people like it you know it's fresh feel to the series um the team spent a lot of time resources on this year starting off you'll notice that the menu screen is simplified and streamlined all the important bits are on one screen um which will help you see and find what you need instead of need i like this a lot man um again i don't really want a lot of menu screens it just is not good it takes away from the gameplay um there will also be more conversations and narrative choices you can make this year bringing in more in line with ea's madden series you can speak to your coach or to the media on what you can and what you can say can have an impact on a character's attributes you can for example speak to the media and make a bold claim about how you will perform in a given game you will need to back it up during the game to keep your standing really like this man i want uh I want different story modes, man. I really like this. They also talk about how there's going to be 100 different story beats that can play out when you're on the ice. There are in-game coaches challenges that you can take on to increase your likability on your team. Kind of like NHL 14. Remember the team likability meter? I'm liking this, man. Um, also, brands that sponsor you. Again, I legit, if this is, like, I'm really hyped, man. I'm, I'm really excited for this game because of Be A Pro. Like, I could care less about the Michigan or Hockey Ultimate Team. Like, I'm very excited for Beer Pro Story Mode because I feel like content-wise, this is something I can make a lot of videos on, a walkthrough, but also just playing this, man. I, when I want, like, I really feel like NHL 20 for me this year, I wasn't really having fun playing the game. It felt like I was just doing it for content, making videos and stuff. I really didn't feel like I was having a fun time, and that shouldn't really be gaming. Gaming all sh sh should be about having fun. Skill moves. And we saw it in the trailer they brought back to Michigan. Um, I heard that it's a hard move to pull off, which it should be like that. It should not be an easy move to do. It should be a hard move to pull off. So I'm liking that, how it's kind of stayed the uh, same like that. I'll just to catch up with the Carolina Hurricanes perform the move. Um, says there will be a high risk, high reward move in Ansel 21 in an effort to make sure it doesn't become too overpowered. Um, developers will look at feedback from a closed bay and make adjustments as necessary. But the team stressed that skill move at this level will be very difficult to pull off. As it should. They all they've also added the no move move by Kucherov. If you don't know Nikki Kucherov does that little deke that he pretends like you know what I mean. Everyone's seen it. They've also added in Sydney Cosme's famous move where banks the puck off the back of the net, passes to himself now in the game. They looking at the trailer, they've added a bunch of new ways to kind of move the puck. You can bank it off the boards, get past your defender, bank it with the net, a lot of moves just get past your defender, avoid hits and all of that stuff. Um Hot Rush, talked about this in my initial reaction video. Uh, basically, Hot Rush is kind of like NHL 3s, but in, uh, in Hockey Ultimate Team. There's new modes in NHL 21 as well, which of which is Hot Rush, described as a fast-paced um, mode. Hot Rush aims to get players in matches faster and gain quicker uh, results. The core idea is to be rank, uh, rank up points faster. You'll get points for things like shots, goals, deeds across the game, various modes. The more skill the move is, the more points you'll get. Basically, kind of like NHL 3s, you score goals. Can uh, score goals. You can 
you know get points and stuff like that i really like this it's gonna be kind of like a there's a new battle pass style system that has 20 tiers to work with so they're kind of doing what other games are trying to do is kind of have a battle pass where you can just get rewards so you just have tiers to work through with the battle pass i like this idea a lot um i like how it's kind of about I'm, I'm hoping the rewards are good though and he likes to add stuff that doesn't really likes to add stuff that looks good on paper but when you actually play it it gets very boring really quick i'm hoping that this is not one of those things because if it is this is not a smart move this this is this is one of those things you just have to test out in my opinion world of chell very excited for world of chell i haven't really been playing too much world of chell but i'm, I'm hoping that maybe world of chell and be a pro or somewhat connected but world of chell will include rank seasons in four modes that's once three is dropping in clubs players can compete for chance to earn rewards and then take part eshl club finals and pay out unique rewards world of chell also includes a fan requested options like free skate i know a lot of eshl players have been asking for free skate just to test out and you know their player builds um there's also a practice mode that you and your team can enter to practice players with the ai goalie additionally so 21 has a scrimmage option where you and your team can play against ai difficult it's kind of just like practice mode just to practice up the team practice up the chemistry um which is you know very good don't be a jerk basically you can report players for ra you know racist slurs and all that stuff in NHL 21 that basically it's very simple um very excited about this man franchise mode updates franchise mode is going to be adding one major addition trade deadlines I'm very excited for this man i've always felt like Angel 21 franchise mode this year honestly wasn't even that bad i like trade finder trade finder isn't really that useful though you can't really trade star players um i'm really liking free agent frenzy though it's gonna make trading for players at the deadline easier and also trading away players easier you can get more draft picks more stock um i like this a lot man hopefully it plays out pretty good i can definitely say franchise mode feature wise Franchise mode features honestly have been looked very good in NHL 20. That's what I gave it to EA. You know, I thought NHL 20 had a good franchise mode features. I'm very excited for this and more features that they're looking to add. Hoping that they add custom rosters. If that if they add that, that'll be pretty good. And it'll just make things a lot easier. Last but not least, we got release date, details, and veteran uh, rewards. Obviously, this game's releasing August 16th, three days early if you get the deluxe edition of the game. There's gonna be um no no beast uh, no version of this game basically you cannot play this game on the new gen consoles it's only going to be playable through backwards compatibility which is interesting because i honestly i might not even get the new consoles if i'm being real with you um but i think this is a smart move man i think they should take their time don't want to make another angel 15 but also veteran rewards players who uh, bought the pa past their games angel 21 19 18 will receive a veteran bonus comprised of 10 hockey ultimate team packs so that is the in-depth review of this game beta also comes out august 28th um if you guys want to get the veteran rewards you can just probably get e access and just download NHL 18 19 and 20 if you don't have it very looking forward to this game man the beta is coming up um i want if you guys need again this is one of the best channels to subscribe for just NHL 21 news because i'm not affiliated with ea i'm not trying to like throw shade at nobody but when I'm making these videos, I'm giving my raw opinion on them. I'm not affiliated with EA, and honestly, like, I'm not afraid to criticize them because I'm just trying to make this game good. But uh, 28th, I will be honestly, uh, I will be streaming the beta if I can. I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, it's a beta. I mean, I think you should be able to. I'm not sure though because it's a closed beta, but we'll see. But I will be streaming that a lot. I will be playing the beta a lot, looking at some, you know, good player builds for ESHL um, and just reviewing the beta, reviewing the gameplay and all of that. But honestly, man, drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I appreciate the support. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.